Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. Today, among other projects, I kind of got sidetracked into working on my uh, furnace. Here is what happened. In the spring, my daughter decided this was a great place to stand on. So this is just a little bit off the ground. She put her foot on it, kinked it right off. So what I, where I kinked it off at was right here, where this um, compression fitting joint is here. So what I was able to do was straighten it out and shorten the end and move the fitting over and reconnect it. So this part is done out here already and I thought I was good but what I, f what I forgot was I need to bleed the air out of the system now. This line runs from my tank down into my basement to the furnace. So let's go to the other end and I'll show you what happened. Uh, we only use the fuel oil furnace really in the spring and the fall. We run our pellet furnace um, pretty much all winter. And unless we go away for a couple days, we will just be using the pellet stove. But in the spring and the fall and the evening, sometimes it's better just to not light a fire and let the furnace kick on a couple times if it needs to. So I was trying that and the furnace was not uh, coming on. So let me show you my troubleshooting. basement I've pulled the covers off the furnace here is the line where it comes in and there's a pump here um, the motor that runs the pan here also runs this pump and there is a bleeder screw right there and what I did was I bled it a little bit and thought I had it and I tried starting it and it would just kick off and there's a little light that comes on right there and then it shuts off. It's like a trouble light to let you know something's wrong. And you can reset it. The light will go out and it'll cycle again. But I will caution you right now. Do not keep hitting that. Because if you're having a spark issue. A, an ignition issue. And your fuel is fine. What you'll be doing is pumping fuel into the combustion chamber. Every time. It'll just keep pumping more and more fuel, so that when you do get it to ignite, it's going to be way too much fuel. So, so what I did, there's some tabs. You can pull this off, and you can check, and I had spark. And if you take these this off, you can pull this gun, is what they call it. You can pull this out, and there's the two igniters and then the fuel nozzle on the end and you can pull it right out let me show you that I took the nut off of here and then you can just simply turn this wiggle it, wiggle it just right and pull it out my spray nozzle is fine for the fuel my igniters are fine so there's no problem here I'm going to go ahead and put this back in so make sure you put this side out, flat side, towards the nozzle. We're going to tighten it up. So this line runs from the pump, and it runs up here and goes into the nozzle. So what I did is I took it loose here, and then I, um, then I took this side loose and then tightened it back up when I got it pointed down. So I'm just going to try it now. And I'm going to let fuel pump out. I did bleed it here, but you can't really be sure how good you got it bled unless you do it this way. <clears throat> so what, I'll, what I'm going to do now is turn it back on and let some of it pump out into the bottle. But what we want is we want to have good fuel flow, clean fuel coming out, and no air. And then once we have that, we're going to hook the fuel line back up. And we're going to give it a try and see if the furnace lights. If you want to try lighting it with this open, you're going to have to take the photo eye out and then be very careful of these because you'll get shocked on these. So now I'm going to turn it back on and we'll watch the pump. You can see it's pumping a lot of fuel oil out. Go ahead and shut it. 
shut it off as it gets full. So we'll pump that out relatively quickly, so I think we're pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hook the line back up, and then we'll try starting it and see if it'll start. Photo eye back in. Now I just need to close this up. I'm just going to tighten the clips on the back and we're going to try starting it. Now if you've had an ignition issue and not a fuel issue like I have and you've hit this reset button a lot of times, I wouldn't recommend starting it because I mean, there's a good chance you can have some kind of an explosion or a large fire just because you have so much fuel in the combustion chamber already. But we didn't. We had lack of fuel was our problem. So I'm going to go ahead and try starting it and we'll see if it, if it uh, kicks on or not. If that trouble light comes on will know that it's not fixed yet. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Nope, it appears that it lit. Yep. It looks like the furnace is working, so... We saved ourselves a service call, and everything is working, so we're all set.